गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एक्चुअली दिस इज योर फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ एम एस सी फाइनल फिजिक्स विद मी इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास एज यू कैन सी पेपर फर्स्ट basically atomic and molecular spectra is the first part of paper first as dr dk pandey is teaching to you and second part is nuclear and particle physics i have to discuss this part with you i think syllabus you have already downloaded or to be downloaded by you from the university website if unable you write me in the whatsapp message i will send you send you scanned copies of this syllabus for discussion first of all you can see there are two units in this section first unit second unit from atomic and molecular spectra and third and fourth unit from nuclear physics and particle physics this is unit third and this is unit fourth of this paper unit third belongs to nuclear physics and nuclear uh, unit fourth belongs to nuclear uh, particle physics which includes nuclear decay and elementary particle physics this is the syllabus topics i can read from the syllabus for your introductory view nuclear forces syllabus is nuclear two body problem simple theory of deuteron you, you know about deuteron from ug classes spin dependence and non central nature of nuclear forces in general you study the forces that is uh, gravitational forces and electric electromagnetic forces are of central type but you can think about non central forces that is nuclear forces nuclear forces are strong forces or more clearly the strong gest forces existing it in nature then nucleon nucleon is scattering in quantum mechanics you have already studied scattering phenomenon you have to apply for the nucleus within the nucleus nucleons that is neutrons and protons interact with each other you have to study it how nucleon nucleon interact this is a matter of understanding so you have to study through nucleon nucleon scattering then related quantities are scattering length effective range theory exchange forces and meson theory of nuclear forces meson theory you have already studied at ug level how neutron and proton changes to each other by the exchange of mesons this is the syllabus of nuclear forces topics 
coming under this R as stated by me from the syllabus. Then next section is nuclear reactions. There are a lot of nuclear reactions within the nucleus as proposed by various models as per experimental evidences. The syllabus is Q value and threshold energy, compound nuclear and direct reaction mechanisms, nuclear reaction cross section. As I was teaching to you, a scattering phenomenon at basic level in classical mechanics, the importance of cross section. You have to apply the same basic in quantum mechanics and then in nuclear reaction cross sections. Resonance phenomenon, Braid Wigner one label formula, which is very important in for your examinations. As you can see, as you can imagine, you cannot see a nucleus. No one is able to see the atomic nucleus as such. You have to know about the nucleus. Nucleus is very, very pointed or of negligible size in comparison to atom. The size of atom is, size of atom, you can compare it, size of atom, you can see, you have to become serious and sincere okay, to know about the size of size of atom 10 to the power minus 10 meter that is on the screen size of nucleus is size of nucleus 10 to the power minus 15 meter or in other words or in other words other words you can say that it can give up five difference so atom is 10 to the power 5 times bigger than the atomic nucleus. Nucleus means nucleus within the atom. Therefore, it is called as atomic nucleus. You, you have to realize the difference. I can realize, I, I can help to realize you by taking an example. I think you have noted the size of atom and size of nucleus. And the difference between the sizes of the two, that is of atom and of atomic nucleus. It is 10 to the power 5 times bigger than the atomic nucleus. I am giving you example for your realization or understanding the negligible sizeness of atomic nucleus. You know your earth.
every student of physics know that the diameter of diameter of earth diameter of earth is i think the diameter of earth is Six four zero zero kilometer, and diameter of Earth is six. six the diameter of Earth is radius of the Earth is six four zero zero kilometer, and the uh, diameter is one two eight zero zero kilometer. If you divide by ten to the power five, what you can achieve? किलोमीटर मीन्स मीटर में कन्वर्ट करें यू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मीटर थ्री जीरो कम इफ यू डिवाइड बाई टेन टू दी पावर फाइव फाइव जीरो कैंसिल एंड इट विल बिकम वन ट्वेंटी एट मीटर इन डायमीटर तो डायमीटर ऑफ अर्थ इज वन ट्वेंटी एट जीरो जीरो किलोमीटर You can easily understand the diameter of the earth. If a body, if a body, to be realized, to be realized, to be realized or imagined. In comparison, comparison, and sorter by ten to the power five times, you will see the radius or diameter. Of that body will be only one twenty eight. If you consider Earth as atom, that is on the storm in size. If you compare it with that imagined body, which is ten to the five power five times shorter, it will be of one twenty eight meter in diameter. In diameter, I think. You can compare it or realize it very well. You know how much bigger is one twenty eight hundred kilometer. You can also imagine, in comparison to it, how much shorter is this one twenty eight meter. You can see in a field a spherical ball. of 128 meter diameter and the other in comparison there is a earth there is the earth if you want to move from india to america a lot of distance to be traveled equal to half circumference of the what will happen if it is contracted to 128 meter 
it will be very very tiny body to travel you always studied in your previous classes i think the example i have given you have got it and realized now i want to make the figure of tech in a figure you see only two dimensional form of atomic nucleus always you draw you can see three dimensional figures from the net as well and then you can realize if you are brilliant you can imagine no need of seeing the pictures three dimensional pictures you can yourself imagine these pictures if you consider any pictures or, or always you make in this sense okay, this is atomic nucleus there are electrons revolving around the nucleus at first sight you always studied like this but if you really want to make a figure in actual practice the magnified image always magnified image if it is of 10 cm 20 cm in diameter the diameter of atom diameter of atom diameter of atom diameter of atom if you consider 20 cm on your copy what will be the size of the nucleus you divide by 10 to the power minus 5 10 to the power 5 it will be 20 into 10 to the power minus 5 cm that is 0.0002 cm you know 1 cm like this 1 upon 10th part will be 0.2 this much is about 2 mm 1 tenth of 2 mm is 0.2 mm is this much 1 tenth part of that 1 tenth part of that as well if you want to draw then the size of nucleus to be shown will be shorter than that point if you can see in your uh, video this is very big this is about 1 cm or 0.5 cm which is not fair to draw like this nucleus is very 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 small in size there are electrons revolving around the nucleus you have many atomic metals to be to uh, you studied in your previous classes you study in this paper as well atomic spectra molecular spectra atomic models you can can you ask a question to me why always we call atomic models nuclear models what is the reality behind it you know you know very well that we always see the objects by our eyes 
our eyes can see the objects what is the what is the physics behind the vision and seeing the various objects in this physical world for smaller visions for smaller visions by your eyes by your eyes you can see you can see see the objects making an angle of 1 upon 60 degrees 1 upon 60 degrees you know 1 degree 1 upon 60th part of this angle if body is maybe may making with our eyes this is i where is object angle is or this angle of vision is 1 upon 60 degree you can see the object through your eyes if it becomes lesser than 1 upon 60 degree or 1 minute you can say directly as 1 minute you cannot see body is there but our eyes limitations not allow to see it we the scientists try to see smaller objects then that we discovered a magnifying glass magnified the angle and we were able to see still more smaller objects by using a magnifying glass but the bodies exist smaller smaller and smaller the scientists further try to make instruments with more magnifying power and resolution they made microscopes compound microscopes compound microscopes the further we are able to see smaller objects but you know about this physical world i have to discuss the mysteries of this physical world today as much as possible in an hour approximately an hour we succeeded to make a compound microscope of better quality and or of further better qualities but you know that universe is infinite by its space universe is infinite by its space universe is infinite by its space what is most abundant in the universe you can ask a question what is the most abundant abundant in the universe 
in my view and everyone will convince that about uh, that the most abundant is the most abundant is unique space what do you mean by space here space means no matter or nothingness nothingness but you know the space is decorated the space is decorated the space is decorated decorated by lot of we are unable to count yet lot of in number of heavenly bodies the space is decorated by a lot of bodies moving interactions yes what is in different forms in different different forms with various interactions and facts you have to remember that the space is decorated by different forces decorated by lot of bodies moving with different forces of interactions various different forces of interactions and facts are also in finite number we it it becomes very difficult to, to imagine in finite kingdom of the universe lot of suns lot of stars lot of planets lot of dwarfs white dwarfs lot of black holes neutron stars etc i am visiting to you the whole universe universe through this discussion if you can imagine you have to imagine that what is universe universe is a space filled by infinite space filled by a lot of bodies made up of matter lot of bodies made up of matter matter represents to say about the world as matter world matter world or materialistic world materialistic world or physical world 
physical world. You always call, someone calls, this is metal world, this is materialistic world, this is physical world. Same thing. Representation of this world as matter world or materialistic world or physical world. But the whole matter is accommodated, accommodated within the infinite space. If you or if we require to see this infinite matter world, we cannot see physically. Scientists are continuously trying to see the existence of different different bodies, heavenly bodies. by using latest technologies and astronomical telescopes situated at specified centers. Or they are continuously observing and reporting through their research papers. But you have to know the existence of this matter is due to due to the existence of matter of matter is due to the atom. Every atom, the knowledge of every atom you have studied at various classes in the subjects of physics and chemistry. But you have to know the fact that no one seen no one can see the atom. as such. Why? I was discussing that there is a limit of observing with our eyes. We have our physical bodies with us. We have our physical bodies with us. And this physical body has five sense organs. I am here discussing about the sense organ I only. The work of our eyes is to see this physical world. But it is limited. This physical world exists due to matter. Matter is composed of various atoms. Atom is very small in size. You always know the fact from solid state physics. In normal matter as gifted by nature there are small grains small grains in 
every solid. A small grain, a small grain is in micrometer size. A grain of every matter contains a number of molecules, a number of molecules, number, maybe in lakhs or crores, number of atoms, number of atoms or molecules. If matter is in molecular state, you can say in molecular, molecules are in this number, number of molecules or atoms. If it is in atomic state, Molecules or magnets. These are in micrometer size. They can be seen by using better quality advanced microscopes. Example, atomic mark, my, uh, force microscope, tunneling electron microscope, that not uses light. One thing is to be very clear that our eyes can see the objects in a limited size only. We can see only the limited size by which help the eye is able to see the various objects. You know that with the la, 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 light, with the help of light, we can see. Light is an electromagnetic wave. Light is an electromagnetic wave. Infrared is electromagnetic, ultraviolet is electromagnetic, radio frequency waves are also electromagnetic, but sensation of vision is only due to a particular range of wavelengths of electromagnetic waves. That is, you know very well. 4000 angstrom unit to 7800 angstrom unit only. The compound in is a microscope as designed, we were using visible light. In electron microscopes, we use to detect electron waves because every particle as per quantum mechanics you know possess dual nature particle and wave hole. With this fact electron microscopes were designed. One fact is also to be noted by you that Using, using facts, very important facts related with the vision, our vision, that the eyes can see, eyes can see only up to the size of the wavelength used to see the object. The eyes can see only up to the up to the size of the wavelength used to see the object. That is if you are using a light of shorter wavelength, 
you can see the bodies of shorter sizes. For example, the shortest wavelength of visible light is 4000 angstrom unit, that is of ultra uh, uh, violet. So you can see up to the size means half of the size, uh, uh, half of the. Now it has been confirmed that half of the size of the half of the size of the wavelength wavelength size that is you can see by two, that is two thousand angstrom unit two thousand into ten to the power minus ten meter. That means if you can say three zeros and power minus seven meter and point two into ten to the power minus six meter only means point two micron size ka micrometer size body can be seen with a compound microscope. This is added, added eye. Unaided eye, you cannot see such smaller bodies. You are known that the size of atom is one angstrom. One angstrom. One angstrom only. Approximate size of atom. Maybe two angstrom, three angstrom, the bigger atoms. Size of the atom is one, one angstrom. This is two thousand angstrom. The range of vision, limit of vision of our unaided eyes. How we can see an atom? We cannot see at all. Anyhow, we cannot see at all. A nucleus is of size 10 to the power minus 5, 15 meter. How one can see the nucleus? No one can see by using any instrument developed till today. The bodies that are known seen, the bodies that are known cannot be seen by your eyes as such what is the option with us the option is to study these bodies like atom nucleus by making its models by making its models as realized by our intelligence And proved by and proved by experimental observations and proved by experimental evidences. Experimental evidences. This is the fact. So we may models. You know Thomson's model of atom, Bohr's model of atom, vector atom model, wave mechanical model, etc. Nucleus is very difficult to very difficult to view. Now, we want to view it through our 
इमेजिनेशन आई वी कैन कॉल इट वी कैन कॉल इट द आई ऑफ इमेजिनेशन वी ऑलवेज स्टडी टू आई ऑफ इमेजिनेशन आवर आई इमेजिनेशन आई ऑफ इमेजिनेशन that the proved by experimental evidence nucleus is how difficult to realize now you have known at this stage our syllabus is like this various nuclear models have been proposed liquid drop model in this model we propose that nucleus is just like a liquid drop liquid drop uses cohesive forces intermolecular forces and is spherical in shape nucleus is made up of various nucleons they are acted by strong nuclear forces it has imagined that nucleus is also spherical in shape so scientists proposed a group of scientists proposed that nucleus is uh, similar to a liquid drop drop the experimental provings are the phenomenon of nuclear fission and fusion you studied at ug level you have to study it in your syllabus as well you studied that the individual masses of neutrons and protons if we add then the sum is more than nuclear mass there are various factors involved in the composition of the nucleus so some group of scientists made semi empirical mass formula you have to study it i think you have studied it ug level as well using liquid drop model bohr wheeler gave a theory of nuclear fission fission means breaking of heavy nucleus into lighter nuclei comparatively lighter nuclei as you know uranium 35 takes a fission by breaking into barium and krypton atoms you have to see actually some phenomenon experimentally noticed cannot be explained by using liquid drop model of the nucleus i will discuss you in your uh, further classes a group of scientists were involved in making a model borrowed from atomic model they proposed a cell model cell model means you know s cell p cell d cell f cell for atomic nucleus electronic distribution electron distribution in atomic model in various cell structure as px py pz dxy 
डी वाई जेड डी जेड स्क्वायर एक्सेट्रा ए सिमिलर मॉडल हैज बीन प्रपोज नोन एज सेल मॉडल यू हैव टू स्टडी इन योर सिलेबस एज सेल मॉडल यू ऑल्सो नो इन एटोमिक फिजिक्स एज वेल दैट इनहेरेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एवरी पार्टिकल is that it revolves around the nucleus electrons are, are revolving around the nucleus they are spinning as well but when i i i will discuss i will discuss the cell model i will discuss in detail that there is spin and orbital motion both in a nucleus of nucleons what are predictions of cell model this is in your syllabus and beyond this a collective model also in the cell model a collective model this is unit 3 unit 3 first nuclear forces nuclear two body problem i already discussed then nuclear reactions then nuclear models unit fourth is of particle physics i am reading it nuclear decay that is beta decay and gamma decay i have already written i had already written in in, in your uh, green board you have seen it some syllabus is very simple you have studied in your ug classes what do you mean by beta decay what is fermi theory of beta decay allowed and forbidden transitions what are allowed and forbidden transitions what is fermi and gamow taylor selection rules one fact with the nuclear or elementary particles is parity i will teach you what is parity that parameter parity violates in beta decay that is why in syllabus parity violation in beta decay very important topic in your syllabus you have already known about neutrino particle relative with the nucleus recently within 5 uh, uh, years back about 5 years back scientists awarded for nobel prize for their work noticeable work on neutrino detection and its properties so two types of decays you have studied in 11 12th level beta decay gamma decay alpha decay but in your syllabus the two decays are there beta decay i discussed in first paragraph and second paragraph is of gamma decay topics are gamma decay multipole transitions angular momentum and parity selection rules internal conversion and nuclear force i should marry this is half part of unit 4 and then elementary particles as you know there are only four fundamental interactions among the particles and bodies of the universe that are gravitational interaction electromagnetic interaction nuclear interaction and fourth is weak interaction this exists in nucleus as well only a nucleus have two types of interactions within it and the whole universe have only two types of interactions gravitational and electromagnetic interactions very very heavy nucleus 
have two types of interactions to exist in the universe. A lot of more than 50 elementary particles have been discovered till now. You know, they are categorized in the forms of hadrons, virions, you may know the names, fermions, bosons, leptons, individually you know sigma hyperon, lambda hyperon, cascade hyperons, mu mesons, pi mesons, neutrino, antineutrino, neutron, proton, electron, etc. Actually, hadrons are further have its internal structure proposed by scientists. Quarks, gluons, etc. In your syllabus, you can see hadrons and leptons, symmetry and conservation laws, CP violation and CPT invariance. You have to know first what is CP. I will discuss you whenever required. SU2 and SU3 multiplets, eightfold way as proposed by Gautam Buddha in their philosophy. Scientist Yukawa was a Buddhist by borrowing the philosophy from Gautam Buddha. He used, he proposed eightfold way to explain some knowledge about nucleus. So you have to study eightfold way. Then quark model as recently I have discussed about quarks. Quark model you have to study. Gelman Okubo mass formula for hadrons. Hadrons for strictly hadrons. Basic ideas of standard model. Okay, how standard model occurs this is in your syllabus this is your syllabus to discuss to deal for your msc final you have to imagine it some two three points are also to be discussed with you that you have realized the atomic nucleus at the view of its size very 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 small very difficult to see as such almost impossible to see directly the atomic nucleus but you also know another fact from your 12th standard that Density of the nucleus is very high. Density of nucleus is very high. You know, 10 to the power 11 kilogram per cc. You can see the chalk in my hand. If you divide it into two parts, half part of this can be 1 cc in one unit. 1 cc means 1 centimeter cube. Centimeter, centimeter cube. That means a cube of one meter side possesses a volume of one cc. So this is almost equal to one cc. The mass of this one cc cube is 20 to the power 11 kg. Can you realize one kg? Then 100 kg? 100 kg equal to 10 to the power 2 kg 
can you lift 100 kg no you cannot lift easily 100 kg tend to lose about 2 kg wheat of 100 kg packet you know well very rare 1000 kg This is ten to the power eleven. Ten thousand kg is ten to the power four kg. How much mass is of one cc volume? The matter of the nucleus is very very dense. The matter of the nucleus of the nucleus. We can say easily. Thus we can say. Thus we can say. We can say. The matter of the nucleus is extremely, extremely dense. Extremely dense. In the proper to say. How much dense and how much is small? Very small. Very very dense matter is nucleus matter. Here you say that neutron and protons constituted by neutron and protons matter. But Further, we have to study how they live together within the nucleus. In simple manner, you can say you 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 always say that there is a nuclear force which is very strong in comparison to electromagnetic and gravitational forces. charge independent force nuclear force is charge independent force there is a mass defect del time you know very well that sum of individual neutron and proton masses is bigger than mass number the difference is mass defect you multiply it by c square this tells us about binding energy binding energy binding energy this energy is responsible for these nuclear forces and existence of nucleus so dense so small in size i think today i our my, my plan was to prepare you for such type of imaginations you start your studies through the books the books for examination purpose you can consider nuclear physics by pandya and the other india and the other another asan bhosal if someone from you is interested to see the other standard books i will for reference i will show you from the library there are a lot of advanced books in the library i have a russian book personal russian book if you are able to understand from these books then at second or third stage you can consult standard books but i prefer to recommend the nuclear physics and nuclear physics by pandya yadav which is very simple for examination purpose so you arrange the book i think you have to purchase at least two books one 
एटॉमिक एंड मॉडिकुलर स्पेक्ट्र बाई राजकुमार एलिमेंट्स ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड अदर न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स फ्रॉम दिस इन दिस फर्स्ट पेपर फॉर फोर्थ पेपर यू कैन परचेज ए बुक एस 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 बाई डॉक्टर डी के पांडे फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स यू हैव टू कंसल्ट डिपार्टमेंटल लाइब्रेरी एंड एज योर स्टडीज स्टार्ट यू मे चेंज योर बुक्स आई थिंक द रिमेनिंग डिस्कस रिमेनिंग वन आवर डिस्कशन इज फर्दर नीडेड फॉर इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास तो आई विल डिस्कस थ्रू यूट्यूब वीडियो इन एज ए सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन आई हैव गिविन the title of this video visit to the nucleus and the universe so you think imagine meditate and realize this physical world in a very short dimension to exist in the form of nucleus and infinite dimension as a whole astro world astro universe one thing i have to say more that in some stories you find that a person may be named as jinn or god especially hanuman ji he was able to sort his physical body comparable to aunt and he will he was able to enhance his body parallel to a colony of greater heights actually they were able to change his physical body but every real physics student has to follow it through but through his imagination physical body can cannot change its size but your imagination can imagine the zero and infinity both with a perfection if one is able to do it can be understood as brilliant genius so if you want to become a genius or brilliant in physics you try to observe this physical world in both the directions that is direction of zero and direction of infinity you always put your imagination if it is zero you have to magnify at normal size if it is infinity you have to reduce to its normal size and study if you make a figure on your copy or blackboard or in a book you always make a proper size fit to your copy or, or on in, in the blackboard or a book you make an atom the size you can see in your book you make universe the size is how much large but in your copy 
द साइज ऑफ एटम एंड साइज ऑफ न्यूक्लियस एंड द साइज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आर ऑफ सेम डायमेंशन दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ अवर मेमोरी आवर इमेजिनेशन थ्रू ए मॉडल देर इज ए मॉडल ऑलवेज इन आवर विजन टू नो इट नेक्स्ट इन नेक्स्ट सेशन एन इंट्रोडक्शन आई थिंक इज ऑल्सो नीडेड टू क्लेरिफाई द सब्जेक्ट एंड देन स्टडी टॉपिक वाइज फ्रॉम थर्ड क्लास आई थिंक इट इज ओवर थैंक यू वेरी मच